Hi, David Dodge here for Green Energy Futures. Today we go to Sherwood Park, Alberta, right on the edge of Refinery Row, where amazingly they're heating their swimming pool, municipal buildings, and some homes with waste wood. The Community Energy Center is a natural gas district heating project that was innovative by itself. But then, the county added a biomass heating module as a demonstration project to learn about burning wood chips and agricultural waste for heat. The project we're looking at here right now is a biomass module in Sherwood Park, uh, belonging to the district heat network in Strathcona, which heats a group of buildings over on the other side of Sherwood Drive. Uh, the system has been built seven years ago as a natural gas system, and last year we added a biomass module, which you can see behind me there. Yes, you heard it right. They're using wood to heat the swimming pool, recreation center, the famous Festival Place Theatre, the community buildings, and even private condos. The biomass heating module now provides the base load heat for the entire district. The biomass energy unit behind us produces just under one megawatt in, in thermal output, which in comparison to the, to the overall load of the system uh, is about half of the requirement the system, the system has at full capacity. Full capacity meaning Alberta winter 25 to 30 below. That kind of heat requirement that we have from all the buildings over there is covered about half. But why would a community want to heat with wood? There is a lot of uh, reasons for, for any community wanting to do this. The, the main reason is the reliability of energy prices. There is a very, very large environmental component, the, the urge to be environmentally sustainable. Uh, the economic side of things is saving money right at the start because heat from waste wood is cheaper than, than, than heat from fossil fuels. There's a job creation component. There's all different kinds of components that give an advantage to people locally and in the community itself. But Harry, isn't natural gas so cheap it's almost free? Well, the almost free natural gas you mentioned is actually around about $5.99, $6 right now. And biomass heat is at around about $2.20 in comparison if you base it on a price of $40 per ton of biomass. And that is the big aha moment when it comes to using biomass for heating or generating electricity. It's already cheaper than natural gas today if you're using waste wood. The Sherwood Park Biomass Project is called a demonstration pilot project, but the contractor who designed the project, Axel Lambian of Lambian Energy Solutions from Germany, has installed more than 3,400 such systems since Axel's great-great-grandfather started his company in 1917. He was a boiler engineer and he invented the first automatic feeding system for sawdust, which he sold to sawmills that time. You see, sawmills needed energy to drive their saws and the first uh, automatic saws were driven by transmission belts which were driven by locomobiles, which is similar like a locomotive, and they were wood fire. Indeed, Axel's great-great-grandfather saw the potential of biomass even back then. His uh, slogan was, take useless waste and make high quality energy out of it. Energy at that time was very expensive. It seems like we have forgotten something in the last decades. European and particularly German companies already know this. I think in the European woodworking industry it's common. Every company uses their own wood waste for heating the building, for power production or for process heat. They are, I think every, every, every um, company in Germany has a system who uses the waste of the wood process. With the biomass market saturated in Europe and Germany, Lambian looks to Canada as virgin territory. And he's already doing a big project with a sawmill company in Slave Lake, Alberta. Until recently, sawmills burned their waste in beehive burners that polluted the air and cost the sawmills money to manage. Yeah, we are very proud that we are doing a project for uh, Vanderbilt contractors up in Slave Lake, which is a big private-owned sawmill. And we do a project where we go up to 50 or 60,000 tons of hog fuel, which we convert into electric energy for him. But as it turns out, there's money and electricity in that waste wood, and plenty of it. 
Lambian says the new biomass power plant will use the sawmill waste to produce 3.6 megawatts of electricity, or about 70 to 80 percent of the electricity used by the sawmill, saving them potentially hundreds of thousands of dollars. To learn more, head to our website at greenenergyfutures.ca. We've also got photos, a blog, and a podcast. We'd love to hear from you. Drop us a comment on our Facebook page or send us a tweet or email. Thank you for listening. For Green Energy Futures, I'm David Dodge.